Mm. Oh, coffee, espresso. Hi guys and welcome to Solar FPV. Alice here, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to post in a while. Um, well, basically it's because there hasn't really been anything I thought of as very, very, very important news that I haven't already mentioned in earlier videos. Uh, so. Um, the weather here in Denmark, obviously it's winter time, it's just beginning springtime, but it has been windy and it's been raining and it's been cold and I've got a lot of excuses not to go flying, but one of the main excuses is this guy. Um, I'm also a longboarder and I do tricks on these and uh, every time there's been good weather, my mate has been writing to me to, you know, go longboarding and start working off our beer bellies that we've been working on all Christmas and winter time. So it's nice to sort of, you know, do some exercise finally and get back uh, out and do some tricks. And so, yeah, so I haven't really done anything here uh, with drones at all, other than just wait for parts so I can get my, um, my drones fixed. So I'm waiting, for, I've been waiting for parts for my Mobula, I've been waiting for parts for my uh, UK65, I've been waiting for parts for my uh, tiny whoop style brushed quad aftermarket brush quad and um, yeah so uh, yeah and also I'm still waiting for uh, some antennas for my FPV goggles although I do have some antennas for my FPV goggles uh, um, I had and I actually did go flying and thought I recorded everything and then I actually just when I thought I stopped the recording on my goggles, I actually started it. So you can imagine I only like got, you know, footage of me changing, well, unplugging the battery and then plugging the battery in again, which is totally silly. It's totally stupid, but I'll figure it out eventually and there will be flight footage coming out. But I haven't been flying much, but today I got packets, packets, lots of packets from China. It's awesome. So... I've got, I hope the lighting here is okay, but anyway, I got some, uh, wait a second, I can fix that, I think I can fix that, I can fix it a bit, oh yeah, and now I'm filming my crotch, oh, sorry about that, well I got the Mobula frame, the V1 spare, this has all come at the same time, which is totally ridiculous, the Mobula 2, V2 frame, thing, and the... Uh, Mobula 7 Trash Canny frame, which I hope you can see that, you know, the battery compartment for this one is kind of strange. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to fix that with some modding. That's not a problem. So now I've got like these three frames and I'm going to, when I have time for it, I'm going to make a video where I swap my V1 frame to another V1 frame because I might as well do that and break this one so that I can start testing this one which these two they just look the same they just look exactly the same I didn't really think this video through did I I have like dark clothes on anyways I hope you can see it you know it's just these are yeah these are pretty different this one's heavier too this one's quite light I think these two are exactly the same. I just think they changed the battery because this one does feel a tiny bit softer and this one a, a little bit more stiff. Or maybe it's just my imagine. No, it's not my imagination. Yeah, it might be my imagination. I'm not too sure. Now I'm rambling on about these stupid frames. Who cares anyway? They're going to break. So, uh, But I at least have three, so I'm going to be breaking three this spring. I also got the... Uh, Use K65 ba, 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 da, frame. Here we go. Uh, and this is just nice. This is, I like this. This material is good. I don't know if that's the same material as the Mobile 7 frame, but it sure is the same material as a uh, normal aftermarket Pure B F36 frames like this one, uh, which they call a tiny whoop frame. This is for brushed. And it's also a bit stressed out from the package but no problems that doesn't seem to be a problem with these ones well whoa did i just break it i don't know that looks a bit strange that motor mount is totally 
screwed up. I don't know, if I pull a bit here, maybe I can straighten it up. But yeah, so this is for my tiny brush. That's going to be interesting. I'm waiting for a canopy. <coughs> Excuse me. Frames are here. Frames, that's a good thing. But what I'm really interested in are the new packets that I just got in the uh, mail today. And let's do an unboxing. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Wow, well that's very well packed. I wonder what's in here. Can I just pull this out? Yeah, holy crap. Oh, well there we go. Canopy. This is the Iashin something something made in China uh, canopy that I've been waiting for and hopefully it will fit the brushed one. This one you also have the camera tilt and it doesn't have screws. That's totally weird. I wonder if that just clicks in place. No. Well, that's very strange. Meh. That's not going to work, is it? Maybe? I don't know. Let's take it out and check it out. So it kind of looks like this. And then... Uh, this goes where? This goes in here? Where the hell does it go? Ah, no screws! Ah, it didn't come with screws! Can you believe it? That's typical. Luckily, I have some screws that'll fit. But this is another one of these uh, cameras. And you can tilt it and uh, stuff. Uh, I don't know why that thing is there. That's probably a stopper. So I'll have to take that off. But I'm going to modify this and try and see if I can get a camera to fit through this. And use this as a top part of... Uh, let's see if this works. And it doesn't. I was hoping I could make a tiny whoop with this kind of... Well, actually, it does a bit. I'm going to have to do some modding for it to work. Yeah, it's made for another frame. But I was thinking maybe you could go like this, you know? And that could be a sweet little brushed quad with a canopy. I know there are other canopies out there, but let's... Ah, bugger. Let's... Why is it always so difficult with these things? Ugh. Anyway, yeah, you you catch my drift. Something like that. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to modify it for it to work. Uh, but it's pretty slick, pretty sweet. Um, maybe somehow. Nah. How about this one? Maybe. Remember? 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 Uh, nah. Well, I'm going to figure out how to use this for something. Well, sometimes you just, you know, this was dead cheap. I just thought, you know, I'd buy it and see if I can use it for something. And I will eventually figure out what to use it for. Coffee time. So, enough rambling on about that. Let's see what else I got. That's a big bag. Holy crap. Oh, these are just antennas. These are VTX uh, antennas. Uh, little pigtails. I'm actually not. I'm actually going to cut this off and I'm going to use these to solder on to some old uh, cameras I've got um, from Eashin because, you know, the ones that had the clover leaf. Well, those clover leaves, they are, they are no more. Let's just put it that way. And no fixing is going to... I mean, no, nothing is going to fix them. So I thought I'd buy these. You get like one, two, three, four, five, uh, for next to nothing. And they look pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Nice little antennas. Can't wait to see if these actually... How good they work. But that's one hell of a big bag for just five antennas. And a canopy. And all this wrapping extreme but there we go nothing's broken everything's fine that's a good thing happy happy times next bag what the hell
that didn't go very far. What have we got here? Please, let it be props. Let it be props. I want props. And it's not props. What is it? Oh, cool. It's the elf. Two, two inch. Oh, and it's not an. It's not a true X frame. Oh, I thought it was going to be a true X frame. Well, my plan with the X2 elf, the two inch elf. My plan was with this. God damn, that's thick. That's like three millimeter frame. That's kind of heavy. My plan was to use this, the elf frame, as my carbon fiber frame for um, for the mobula. So um, yeah, that's not gonna work. I can see. I'm gonna have to buy some new motors. Uh, but no problem, no problem. This will be interesting. Guess I'm gonna have to buy. A, I'm gonna have to build myself a two inch then, a two S two inch. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Cool, nice little bugger. This is gonna be good. Yeah, let's throw that to the side. There's another. That's gonna be a project. So last one. Let's open this one up and then I think I'm done. There we go. What do we got here? Some more. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. There were some deep. Oh boy, that's really cool. There was a deal on these L dark uh, blue uh, props for the tiny work. Uh, these are thirty one millimeters. They should be anyway. I really hope they are. They do look like don't they? Aren't they? Don't they? Don't they look like 30? Yeah, they do. And right ones and left ones and uh, you've got 20 pieces. So that's these are from LDARC. And they were dead cheap. I don't know why. They must have a lot of blue ones le left. So I thought I'd just get these and yeah, see if they work on the UK65. Now with blue props and white props and three plates instead of four. To sort of ease the uh, try and see if that helps the battery sag because uh, the UK 65 has got some battery sag problems and it seems to kill batteries quite often oops so I thought well maybe if I go down the blade I'll, it'll be a little bit easier on the motor and I already tried it and it flies great with three blades I'm really happy with that it doesn't have the same punch obviously but it doesn't get that much of a battery sag so lots of props for that excellent that was good. Man, I can't wait to build this elf thing. So, but I haven't figured out what motors to use yet. I think I'm gonna go with the 1103s uh, and run it 2S. And uh, hopefully I can find some props that will work on this. Uh, yeah. I don't know if they're gonna be two in. Oh, this is gonna be tough. It's going to be a tough build. I'm just going to have to build the classic elf. Whatever. Comes with a battery strap and that looks really shitty. But yeah, who cares? I use rubber bands anyway. So yeah, that was it for me. That's what I have been waiting for. Those were the products that I bought. Um, all i got to do now is just fix my drones and load up some batteries and wait for good weather to come. And then I can go fly and record and stuff. I would go flying inside in my tiny little cottage here, but it is tiny. Let me just get you so you can check it out. I mean, that's the end wall there. And that's the end wall there. And my rain clothes because it's been raining. And yeah, that's really it. I can't even go longboarding. It's pretty boring. So I'm just going to be watching YouTube for the rest of the day. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more content. And as always, uh, fly hard if you, if you can. Have a great day.